What's up guys, Jenny Streeby, founder of Air Professional, the first crystal infused hair care line. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the braided chignong utilizing flexible hold air spray, shine spray, as well as our texture air. Let's get started. So we're gonna pull all of our hair back and we're actually gonna use some shine spray by Air Professional. What's great about this, it's a very lightweight oil. And why I like to use it prior to braiding is it's actually gonna help me get like clean sections because my fingers aren't gonna get tangled up into her hair. So lightly spray all over and obviously it's gonna give her a good amount of shine as well. Spray that, brush it out, and then we're gonna get started. So for this, if you can imagine like almost like a mohawk section, that's what we're gonna braid. And we wanna clip away the sides for later. She has extensions in there, so we wanna be mindful for that. So I'm just gonna create kind of almost a little C curvature section, leaving those out for now. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and then get started with our braid. Okay, I'm just gonna use my fingers now and we're gonna start on the top here. We're gonna do a fishtail braid, and what we're gonna to wanna to do is split it in half, but at a diagonal. We're gonna take a small section of hair, cross it over to the right, small piece of hair from our right, cross it over to the left. All right, so now we've done the first stitch, so now we wanna go ahead and continue, but we're gonna actually add it on scalp. So taking a small piece of hair, crossing it over, and we're not adding any hair into it. That's the difference with this. So we're simply taking a small section of hair, and this section is parting here, and we're crossing it over not really adding any hair with our two sections. Okay, again, we're just continuing on. Kind of loose handed at this point. And she does have clip-in extensions, so we're just kind of disregarding those. It's gonna be pulled out and covered anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. So now we're getting to the nape of her neck. We're actually going to just take a hair elastic to this and secure it into place. Okay, so now we're gonna take the texture air and we're gonna go ahead and spray that through in that midsection. And now we're just gonna kind of pinch and pull it upwards to create some volume. And then really getting in there too where we created those fishtail braid pieces and pull that. Now with this hair left out of the ponytail, we're gonna actually create a chignon. And we're gonna do that by taking it, and I like to put my fingers here and kind of wrap it around my fingers and create almost a loop, okay? Then I pull it to the other side and I like to pull this down and almost like a knot and pull this other hair through and then we're gonna pin that into place at the nape. Taking bobby pins. Securing it into place. I like to work right, then underneath and to the left. Making sure that we secure it on every single side. Create that kind of messy look. You guys can keep it a little softer if you want, but I like a little disheveled. Taking some of our flexible hold air spray, spraying it into place, and doing some last minute finishing touches before we pull the sides in. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take these clips out and simply just pull them back. So why I like to leave the sides out, because I actually want to pull it in a little tighter. So we're going to take those sides. I'm going to, going to use some more flexible hold air spray. 
I'm gonna take it over to the left and bobby pin it into place and do the same thing with the opposite side and then tuck the ends in and that is about it. So you can see, cross it over, taking the bobby pin, going through that section and then pushing it in. We'll put these ends in a second, doing the same thing with our opposite side. All right, so now we're gonna pull these ends and just kind of put it where we want it and secure it into place with a bobby pin or a hairpin. Hairpins are really great for these sections too because they're a little bit more delicate. Now we're gonna do some finishing touches in the front. Again, using that hairspray, kind of combing it back with my fingers because you don't want it like perfectly slick. You want a little bit of like movement throughout. And then you guys can definitely finish this out however you'd like. You can pull some pieces out around the face. Hers is kind of going back, but you could definitely kind of push it to the side as well. Maybe pulling a few little pieces around the face out. So there's a lot of different ways that you guys can create your own look utilizing this technique. That is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys soon.